Music makes the world go round. And often behind music is someone called the music producer. Someone that holds a secret on how to make great hit songs. And we'll get to meet some of those creators, the hit makers. And we're going to find out what kind of star that they are looking for. And how it is that they make this music that all the stars love to sing. We will also dine high at Saigon's top skybound restaurant, La Vie en Rose. Nice, and we're also going to check out Harry Potter's baking house because we're going to make some magical cupcakes. But first, we're going to meet a fantastic musical artist and band. All right, well, let's go. Yeah. An accomplished music producer Nguyen Hai Phong. His music is fresh and smooth, incorporating with the world trend. Let's meet up Nguyen Hai Phong to know more about him. You very focus on the rhythm, the narrative lyric, and also the realism. So, can you tell me more about that? Uh, when I was young, uh, my family always uh, played music together. And after high school, I moved to Ho Chi Minh City and I tried so many jobs. It's not related to music, but I still learning, practicing, uh, compose the music. Yeah. And that inspired me to composing music. Uh, I think uh, I'm lucky. After my success by Hackvit, I am uh, recognized by uh, some professional judge and musician and by music community. The second is I build entertainment company to find and to have some talent like me at the beginning. We create uh, content of the show. We build up a star. So what do you think about our music market now? I guess. In the next two years, classical music will be combined with uh, modern music mm -hmm. to make it more impressive. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, to integrate with the world, what do Vietnamese artists need to do? Nowadays, the young artists in Vietnam, they don't have enough uh, teamwork. Mm -hmm. They need step back and learn how to teamwork with other people mm -hmm. that makes them develop themselves. Thank you so much for the conversation and I really enjoyed what you share about the music in Vietnam and the future of it as well. I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Thank you, Bích Nghi, and thank you, Spicy. cho bao nhiêu gã mê say em qua nơi đây để rồi lòng ai thêm ngát ngay cứ thế xem mai trông sang bên thềm tìm xem mùi hương hôm mai nơi nhớ còn đầy em qua nơi đây cho con tim cứ lo hoan em qua nơi đây để lòng ai thêm vương vấn It's really nice to be here, isn't it? We can have an entire view in Saigon from this spot of view. I don't really think it's that nice. Because I think it's wonderful! <laughs> it is an amazing view. With the view, we're going to have some fine dining, aren't we? We're going to have the three-course meal today. Three-course meal. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Cheers. And then, this is the Fogwa Manmi. Next to this was, this is the Fogwa Cappuccino. How do I eat this? <laughs> but it's up to you. You can just cut a piece and just try it. Okay. I, I will help you. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's very much like pate. The fukwa is very rich. The pickled vegetable, you know, balance it. It's good. I've taken the fogwa, blended it into a drink. 
<laughs> Are we getting into this? Yes, this is called the banana blossom salad. We have the grilled pork here, Vietnamese herb, banana flour, tomato, chili, and fried onions. This is part of the banana flour. Mm. Mango is a common ingredient for a lot of Vietnamese salads, yes. isn't it? Is this pig skin? Mm. Mm. Got a good spicy tang to it. I'm loving it so far. I'm trying to guess what, what more could be next. You know what it is though. Ah, oh, lamb, lamb day. Lamb day, yes, thank you very much. And, and the fish are day. Yeah, 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 fish is here, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, I was only playing. That looks very interesting. This is lotus leaf. Lotus leaf. And they wrap rice, uh, so we will eat the fish with the rice. Okay. And what about yours? So we've got the lamb shanks, mashed potatoes, the beans and the chili tomato jam. Wow, sounds great. The lamb is very fresh and soft. This sauce is impressive. And some green beans. That's good. Okay, so this is sea bass. We're going to have this with steamed rice. Okay. I've always loved Vietnamese style curry. The flavor is very different, mm -hmm. especially with the lemongrass. It just really hits home. The fish is very soft. The fish is very fresh. I like mushrooms too, actually. Mm. Me too. Curry sauce is strong. I think because it's wrapped up and steamed, like all the flavors are locked in. It's mm -hmm. not going anywhere. Didn't you say you were going to try and cook that dish for me? Maybe I can take it and then and then reference. <laughs> Cooked by me. There you go. Cool. Oh. Oh, the best part is here. That is pandan leaf patacota. And we have some ice cream and that's some... This is ginger ice cream. Ginger ice cream? Yeah, with fried pineapple. This is a good snack. Okay, wow, look at that. The colour looks like matcha, but it's not. It's pandan leaf. Oh, that's right, because matcha is green too, right? Let's do a quick <laughs> selfie. Cool. Like this. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> well, thank you for taking me on such a great experience. Air 360 Sky Bar Lounge, the beautiful, deliciously presented food from La Vie en Rose. No, 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 what? no. La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. True. <laughs> Cheers. What's up, Spicy Vietnam? Today, I am joined by a very famous musician. He's also a music producer and director, and is responsible for the success of many, many singers across Vietnam. That is the one and only Huy Tung. Hi, bro. Thank Good you for see. having me on the show. Thank oh, you. I'm very excited to be here. I know you're a very busy man. Yes. But just a little bit about yourself. How did you get into uh, you know, becoming a music producer? Actually, uh, at first I was uh, educated as classical music. Oh, classical. Uh, so I'm, um, I'm playing flute. You know flute? Yes, the flute. Yeah. Then I realized uh, classical is not something um, really for me, you know. Okay. I uh, started playing jazz, uh, blues, and uh, listening to all the soul funk uh, record uh, from the stage. Then I just um, learned uh, how to compose the modern uh, sound, pop sound and uh, R&B sound. I love uh, being on stage with the band and uh, uh, arrangement for singers. <laughs> Hồi đó khi mà bố chơi các hợp âm guitar thì mình rất là thích và mình cũng bảo bố là dạy con chơi guitar thì khi mà đánh một vòng hòa thanh đầu tiên thì hương đã ngân nga được cái giai điệu đầu tiên. Cái thời gian đó thì hương rất là đam mê, lúc nào cũng hát, cả ngày hát. Hương nghĩ là ừ, nghề chọn người chứ người không chọn nghề. Trước đây thì Hương chưa bao giờ Hương nghĩ là mình sẽ trở thành một nhạc sĩ, producer hoặc là giám đốc âm nhạc như bây giờ. Hương không có quá nhiều vất vả và mọi việc nó cứ đến một cách rất là tự nhiên. Hương 
sinh ra ở những thập niên 80 Thời gian đó thì rất là nhiều các cái bài love song, các cái bài của thế giới Những cái giai điệu rồi ca từ rồi những cái hòa thanh nó nó, nó in sâu trong trong trí óc của Hương Đến bây giờ mà nghe lại vẫn hay Khi viết ra những cái ca từ và giai điệu thì Hương luôn hướng về những cái thẩm mỹ âm nhạc Nó dễ nghe nhưng mà nó không quá dễ dãi, nó không mang tính học thuật nhiều When I was in grade 3, my father bought me a keyboard. It's interesting me a lot. When I'm in grade 7, my father again bought me a guitar. I love guitar so much. I forgot uh, to study. My father was angry a lot. But I kept my passion go through up to now. I thought one day I would play music more professional. I had to learn, learn about music. So my father didn't allow me to uh, to learn. I want to tell him the truth that I love music and what I didn't want to learn anymore. And he slapped at my face. Wow. That's the moment I wanted to become a musician. Can you tell me a little bit about the process of producing a song? That come from uh, the first idea. Mm -hmm. uh, sit at a uh, piano. Yeah, and then you must um, image about the beat. If it is a fast song, mm -hmm. you have a beat. <laughs> it's a slow song. <laughs> and then adding some instrument. Yeah, that's the, the electric piano. And then you hear the beat. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's the, that's the first idea. Oh. And then we do the vocal track with emotional, dynamic, right. and then we have a song. And hey Tom, I've heard that you have a very special stage. Tell me more about that. That the portable stage. So we can bring music to everywhere. Wow. The stage is on the truck. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had to prepare monitor, full range sound system. We must carry music, uh, instrument. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought about uh, the truck. What's your advice that you think you could give to some of the Vietnamese singers or anyone in music if they want to reach an international market? This question is right now is a little bit uh, too early for the whole music scene here because we are just uh, at the beginning of uh, learning uh, how to operate a whole music scene mm -hmm. to be a professional, a lot of things to, to de develop. For me, it's uh, focused on Vietnamese music market is more important yeah. for me right now. Okay, that's cool. I know you haven't got a lot of time, but one last thing for the folks. What's next for you? What's the next big project this year? I'm producing right now uh, a lot of um, album for the new singers, young artists. Yep. Yep. We have my idols for Chong Hyo, Hyo. like uh, Van Mai Hương, Vu Cát Tường. Oh, is, they're, the, is they're the new talents coming all, up. All yeah. the new talent and cool. uh, promising uh, singers. So. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Short time with Hui Tung, one of Vietnam's top, top music producers and directors. Thank you for your time. Thank um, you. Spicy Vietnam, we're loving it. Um, to have people like you on board. Thank we'll you. See you soon. See you. See ya. Remember, you be loved, be tender. And I will always pretend that you didn't love just your own reflection. Hey PT, 
Chi, are you a fan of Harry Potter? Of course I am. He's one of my brothers in magic. Oh, really? Do you uh, like him? Yeah, of course. And that's why I take you here. Okay. Is this his place? <laughs> so that we can make a cake at his place. Oh, a cake. <laughs> okay, it all makes sense now. Harry Potter opened up a cake shop. <laughs> cool, okay. The menu looks very impressive. Yeah, I like it, the design. Old pages, coffee stains. Hey, what was that? There it is, witch potion, that's for you. Yes. We'll slip some poison in that Benicia drink, please. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, you can have that one. Should we order? Yeah. Okay, am I? Can't wait. Can't wait to see what drink poison. Thank you. Poison that stays number there. Nine. That stays right there. It's yours. Oh my god. Thank you. Look at that. The skull, the death skull. What's that over there? What's that? Nah, kidding, I almost got you. <laughs> I almost got you. You're so naughty. I'm scared. <laughs> okay. It smells nice. That should do it. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm only kidding. It's nice. <laughs> it's sweet. Because I'm a sweet tooth, I like sweet. Can I try? Yeah, try. See, it's sweet, yeah? Mmm, it's sweet. A party in your mouth. What is this again? It's a flower, Pity. <laughs> no, stop pretending. I'll drink all your drinks if you don't wake up. Pity. I'm only kidding. No, it's not bad. I um, <laughs> But between the two, I like the poison. Give me back my straw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're making cookies and cupcakes. Yeah. Have you ever met this before, PT? Well, my parents actually have a bakery back in Australia. So I'm curious because it, this looks different to how we would we would make it. But yeah, look, I can see it has a little bit of uh, sugar in it. So it's pre-mixed. Peanuts in the mixture. And then we'll just spread it. Spread it all out. Yes. But how long does this take to bake? 30 minutes. OK. Well, why don't we do the cupcakes and cook them both at the same time? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> okay. See? Oh, mm, yeah. You are very quick, <laughs> Pity. We're going to bake them for 30 minutes as well. Okay. I've been waiting patiently for 30 minutes. I know. think our cake is here. Yay! Thank you. Mm. Everyone's hot. Oh, look at this. Thank you. The little ones are yours. So <laughs> small, so tiny. Should we try? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I like it. Oh. oh. Let's try the cupcake. Cupcake? Small one's yours. Okay. Mm. Smell really good. I bet this will be nice, I can tell. Oh, look, I just broke it. Very mm. fluffy. Yeah. I like a good spongy cake. And I really like how it's very crispy here. Mm -hmm. You know what I would do? I would probably cut it in half, put some cream, some jam. Wow, good ideas. And thank you for today. Very I mean poison. Yeah, poison. And baking very nice cake with me today. Oh, I had a great time too. Thank you for showing me this place. I know where it is on the map here. I'll definitely come back. Tell all your friends you got to come down here and... And bake some cake. Yeah. A magic yeah. world in the middle of the city. A magic world, city. What's up, Spicy Vietnam? And have we got a special treat for you? Sitting on my left is the very talented, the very hot and sexy. Her acting career began in early American high school. She is a part of a growing film professionals and has created her own legacy in the business. Welcome my very good friend and old time friend, Kathy Wing. Katie, you are too kind. Thank you so much. I uh, live to give. Yes, sharing is caring. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm really happy to uh, be here on a Spicy Vietnam. Glad we can catch up. You've done your movies, you've done all your appearances, your fashion shows and all that sort of stuff. That's what you love. But I want to know now, what is next for Kathy? There's lots of next things, but something I'm really excited about actually is uh, I'm going to be starting my very first acting technique. Two full day intensive workshop, wow. getting down to the hardcore like craft and appreciation for acting. Yeah. There isn't really something like that available in Vietnam at the moment, is there? 
I feel in Vietnam, we don't have this community where actors get together to practice ongoing. We want to improve our craft, we want to improve our skills. So we get together, we'll run by scenes, we'll help each other out, coach each other. We can always learn more, we can always improve, we can always get better to act and they just, it's intuitive. They have it within them. Sometimes when we go to set and on that day, if, if we're not feeling our best, if we're not feeling happy or we don't feel sad enough to cry or we don't feel angry enough to fight, how, how do we get that out of us? Mm. We have to then lean on technique. Yep. Because technique will never fail. Let's say you do a great take and the director goes, okay, let me do it again. Can you cry like that again. 20 times without technique? It's really hard. Sometimes when you just lean only on natural ability, it's just natural. It is what it is that day, but you can't control it. You don't know how you did it and you just wing it and you hope. It comes on when the, the director says actions. It's a little risky. That's cool. I think it's good to study different techniques and then create your own technique mm -hmm. for what works for you. Yep. So you feel like there's something that always is consistent. I want to get down to when yep. a director hands you the script, okay, you open it, first page, and you know exactly what to do. Yep. So hopefully I'm a good fit for somebody. <laughs>